Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here again, back for another crafty video. So this time, I'm going to make these. Well, we're going to make one of these. Uh, so this is my prototype, um, and it is it's just got a little band on it. It was basically just an offcut of paper of card. So, um, and it opens out, and you've got some pockets here, well, a pocket here, pocket here. We've got a pocket in here. Um, we've got a pocket in here and then we've got this which is a little notepad with things but it's also removable so you've got a little notepad um, which you can then pop back in again so like I could say just been having a play uh, making something then I thought oh you know what don't have a video for tomorrow because it's Thursday night for me here and I thought well why don't we do this so this is what we're going to make so i will show you how to make this but i'll make uh i'll show you the one i made from a file folder as well so i made this from a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock um and then this well uh, this from a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and a few other bits um and this one is made from a file folder so exactly the same kind of thing um all with like pockets in it um say this is also notepad also removable um, and it has another little pocket here Ooh, looks like it's not glued down at the bottom so we won't push that down too far so shall we make one of these shall 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 shell no no shells we don't need any shells so Okay, so let's make these. Just up there for five minutes. Give, give everybody a rest. So, um, first of all, we need a cutter. Um, we'll make this one out of another 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Um, I think we'll do this. So, it's very simple to make and very quick. What you want to do is you're going to start with a piece of card that measures 12 by 7. So, it's 7 high by 12 okay so you want the full width of it and then you want it to be seven high so i don't want to cut the top of these flowers off because that would be a crime um would it be a crime i don't know it might be. i don't know whether it's actually classed as a crime but it would be cri a crime against flowers i think so um i'm going to cut it like that i think so i'm going to cut it at seven there okay and then we'll pop that to one side so this is what we have so this measures seven high by 12 okay and then we need to get the scoreboard or however you're going to make score lines okay and we're going to pop it on here okay um and i'm just going to score it this way so that although that's the outside yeah we're going to put it this way and that's because when we push into it when we, fo we fold it this so if we push down we fold it this way that way then the valley becomes a mountain okay sorry i'm on one of those one of those missions again today so first of all you're going to score at um three score at three yeah then we're going to score at three and a half sorry not three and a half dave three and a quarter uh that's the quarter mark there can't really see in this light. That definitely did a three there, didn't I? Yes. And then three and a quarter. Going to do a three and a quarter line. Okay. Then we're going to do seven and a half. That's where the half came from that I was looking at. Seven and a half. And then we, you want to do seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. Okay. So that's our lines in. Okay. Oh, except for I've just done a valley becomes a mountain and. I'm just going to turn them both in, they're all into mountains, so don't listen to me. So, I'm going to fold all of these in, don't worry about it, is basically what's going to happen. This is because my brain's too giddy. I'm feeling, I'm, sometimes my autism's a little bit like ADHD and I get a bit giddy. So, you know, if I'm talking fast and I sound very excited, this is the reason why. So, what we're going to do, what we're doing is we're creating that kind of box fold there. And then we're going to create a box fold this side and the the flaps are 
asymmetric. So this one is shorter than this one. So don't think, oh, I've got that wrong. You haven't. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. So fold that one in. Just using that line as, to, as a guide to get it straight. Pop that one in and then do the same with that line. Do the same on that line. Come on. Okay, so then we've got another box fold here. So we've got a fold, box fold there and a box fold there. And that's basically we've made our shape okay so next thing you want to do is you want to cut out some pockets to go here now they measure two and a half by two and a half we're talking inches by the way as if it was centimeters it'd be very teeny tiny <laughs> so i'm just going to cut that edge off it's a bit boring it's just a piece of blank edge so we'll just pop cut that off and then we'll do I'll get most of that R. I'll we'll try and just shape that so that we can take that top bit off. We do two and a half. Yeah. So that's one of our pockets. Is that square, Dave? That doesn't look square to me, Dave. That's because you're doing two and a quarter, you idiot. Oh well. Uh can't use that. Let's use something else. <laughs> oh dear! Don't don't panic, Dave. No, don't panic. So let's not worry about what we're going to cut out. We're just going to do that. So that's two and a half wide. Like I can say, they're just going to be two and a half by two and a half. You use whatever. You, so it should be square. Two and a half. By two and a half makes it square, Dave. If you can measure and count, and your brain doesn't get ahead of yourself. By two and a half. And I bet that one's the same size. It is indeed. So, do we want two of those the same? Shall we have those? Yes, they're a bit more interesting than that. So, all I did was I put them together and I rounded that top corner off. Uh, they're together like that and I've rounded that top corner you don't have to round the corner you can leave it square if you wish um, but I just rounded it just for a little bit more drama not that I need any more drama in my life so um, enough drama so um, I'm just going to ink around the edges because you know I don't like a white edge and these papers these are Tim Holtz papers the discontinued stuff yes i know fancy using it all when now it's discontinued the times when most people are hoarding it i'm using it so i just don't like because it's got a white core i don't don't like the white core so obviously this is the corner that you're going to leave open so you're going to leave these two sides open so you're going to cut glue put glue on the corner well you might have glue that actually came out i tested this before i came on air Oh, it's doing it now. So, just a little bit around the edge, and I popped one quite low down on that little fold. Just want to kind of make it kind of semi straight. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Let's face it. What is so, perfection does not exist in the world. Okay, and then we're going to put that one. So I didn't put it right at the top because obviously I don't want my whatever I'm going to put in the pocket. I don't want it to be hanging out over the edge. So I just put that in like that. So that's our two pockets on the on the side. You can make yours straight. I clearly can't. So that's those. Just pop that in there for a minute. Okay, next thing that we're going to make is going to make the um the pad for this side so i'm going to use another bit of paper i'm going to use this here and it measures two and a half wide let's see if we can make this to an actually two and a half wide dave for a change um <laughs> so it's going to be two and a half wide yeah um and then 
what you're going to do is you're not going to need the full length of this okay but what i would advise you to do is keep it keep it all together until the point when you want to cut it off when you want to cut it down um because depending on what your your foldings like etc you might so it'll come down to here and then you can cut off any excess it depends on where your staple goes as to how much tuck you have in so let me just show you what i mean by that so i'm going to use this on the on the front of it um am i oh, the bird will be upside down if i do um what looks less upside down we'll do it that way okay so what i want to do now is i want to take this so this this measures currently measures two and a half by 12 okay and what we're going to do is we're going to pop it on our scoreboard again we're going to find our scoring tool we're going to find our measurements dave and we're going to score at three quarters of an inch because then that'll give us the front flap bit so three quarters of an inch yeah then we're going to go um one inch and that means you've got a quarter of an inch um box fold yeah and then you're going to go all the way up to five and oh, don't let go of that, that end Dave. five and three eighths so this is my five that's one two three eighths there then we're going to go um six eighths so that's one two three oh no one two three four five six six eighths and that means that that's the same size as this in theory anyway and then that's it that's all you're going to do score wise and what you what then happens is you're going to turn this into a fold which again i've done it the wrong way up but never mind like that turn those into a box fold We've got this box then here yeah and then we're going to turn this into a box fold Just move that out of the way now so that i can turn this into a box fold by doing that and then make that also a box fold so this is the point point when you'll realize that you've got too much card now so what i want you to do is decide where you want to cut it off now do you want one that just kind of meets or do you want it to tuck in now i like mine to tuck in so basically all i'm going to do is mark roughly where i want it so it's going to be about there get a pencil put a pencil line and just cut that bit off okay so that bit can come out keep hold of that bit because that's great for making that little pocket at the bottom so that's going to be our pad like matchbox style pad okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to put some paper in there now i get these because my partner vic he um works in um the pub restaurant trade so he get he brings one of these every time he comes to my house and stays i've got millions of these lying around and all i did was i just tore a clump out now if you weren't doing that you're just going to cut some paper that will fit the back of here so it's going to be two and a half well no more than two and a half inches wide and then the back panel which i don't know i shall tell you the back panel measures approximately four inches so you don't want it to be any taller than four high okay so then what i did was i popped it in here so you make sure that the top fold is not going to get in the way on the bottom fold and I, what i wanted to do is i didn't if i tucked it right down to the bottom i wouldn't have seen my number so i just had mine floating a little bit higher up so it's encompassed in that bottom bit yeah but i might go down a little bit further than that dave just so you can see so i can see my numbers and then all i did was i stapled here so i put a staple through this bit that staples that holds onto that piece of paper and also th right the way through to the back so i used these which is called a claw well we in the uk call them um claw staples 
a claw stapler. Okay, so when I do this, you'll see what happens in a minute. So first of all, it'll squash this bottom bit, that's fine. We want it to look like old ephemera anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then you'll also see that this is a rusty staple, okay? Now the reason for that is they are meant to be rusty. I, all I did was, I've got some green ones in here, basically pick out whatever I can, whatever I find around, lying around the house. Um, some rusty staples in here, and all I did was I just rusted them in the same way that you rust any other metal. But you can rust your staples, and that way then they just look a little bit different. So I wanted to show you that. They do take a little bit more to get them through the, the paper, but that's fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna ink off all of these edges because I can't have them looking stark white, can I? I'm just gonna do that edge as well. So, and like I say, that can then tuck in there. Now, if you didn't want yours to tuck in, then don't. Okay, I've just realized that mine is too long to tuck all the way in, so I'm gonna cut another bit off. I'm gonna cut to about there. I need, I've got this blade, I just don't know where the, this bit is. Hang on, let's do that again. So, like I say, wherever the staple goes, that's the thing that's going to determine how far down you want your card to come. So I'm going to cut to about there, I think. Let's pop that on there. Ooh, try and get a straight edge. Would be nice if we did. Just ink that off, and then that's going to tuck inside there so just like a matchbook wood that's going to tuck inside there so this is the book that's going to go in here now what you'll then need is a piece of card for the back of here so any of your off cuts now you can use for the back so sorry i've got i've realized I've got my microphone wire so if you look at this here this measures four inches so you want your piece of card, I would recommend that you had your piece of card no wider than three and a half inches wide. I'm not sure I have that which bit is more interesting, maybe that bit. So that's three and a half wide, so that'll sit on the back. Yeah, and then, sorry, nearly put that away. And then however high you wanted it, and literally I just kept it the same as everything else, I kept it at two and a half high. High, two and a half high. So, and then you're gonna pop that on there, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna glue either end, because you remember that you want this to feed, you want to be able to feed that through, so don't glue too far in, or you won't get it stuck down. So I've made, I made two of these just before I came on air. One was a prototype, so it was me just kind of working things out. And the other one was um, the file folder one, so I could show you that you can make it out of the file folder. Um, I wanted to make it out of 12 by 12 because I've got loads of 12 by 12 paper and I do not use it. Well, I don't use it as much as I should do anyway. So like I say, just a bit of glue, either edge, you want to, don't come too far in, although you've got plenty of space to play with. Remember that you've cut this to three and a half and that's only two and a half wide. You've got an inch to play with. I wouldn't come in more than just like a light, a bead of glue down either side, because then that gives you a bit of play to be able to get your, if that was just really tight, it'd be really hard to feed that down the back, if you understand what I mean. So the top edge of this will be where you want the top edge of this to sit. So. I liked mine quite high up. I just tried to put that, place that in the in the middle of the back. So this is my line here, and this is the edge. I'm just gonna pop that in there. And then I don't want to pull it too taut. I want it to to bag a little bit so you've got a, so you've got a little bit of a gap under here, which means it'll move freely. So you want to make sure that that's stuck down first before you try and put that in, okay? Then the next thing you want to do is you're going to put in a, um, a little pocket. So that's not quite two and a half wide. 
why does that because we we know that so that one is two and a half so what i'll do is i'll just cut this piece down just because it's got a bit of interest on it it's got a bit of text and i shall use that as my pocket i'm going to cut that very edge off as well so like i say not a very deep pocket but it doesn't need to be it's not going to have a lot in it um and then i used my little hole punch not hole punch circle punch to cut out a little thumb thing ink it off let's get some more ink though dave because you're struggling what have we got here let's use what's up up here sweet toffee and we'll use some sweet toffee what we could just do with some sweet toffee all the way and like I say, just to get rid of that, those marks. And before I put that in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in now. So all you need to do is undo it and then feed it through from the bottom all the way up. Lift up the paper pad bit, push it all the way through, and then fold this down, tuck that bit in to where it's going, like that, and then pull it down, and it'll just anchor itself on that bit there, okay? And then you've got this bit here that's going to sit just underneath and again you're going to glue it on three sides so along the side along the bottom on the other side pop that down just underneath where it's going to underneath wherever that sits remember this can move either way slightly a bit anyway but i like it sat in the middle and that's going to go in there okay and then the next thing that you're going to do is sides have all these tiny bits of paper all lying around is you're going to make your your middle bit now i made that out of a book page so i will do exactly the same again make it from a book page and we're just going to use whatever comes to hand shall we use that or that one we'll use that one and then this is a book this is a stamp Book. It doesn't matter which one I'm going to use. We're going to use this one. I just want to tear this out. And then to make this really simple, I know you probably know how to make this anyway, but I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to put that in my glue, otherwise, you know what will happen. I'll come to use it and it won't work. Put some things back, Dave. That'd be a good idea getting a bit cluttered around here so all you're going to do is you're going to take this corner yeah and you're going to bring it up to this corner so you want like two mountains next to each other now whether you want them different heights or the same height i went for the same height so i literally so all you need to do is just have the this the flat edge towards you have the mountains pointing away and then just just press it down yeah and then what you do is you fold this bit over to be one side and you fold this bit over to be the other and you just tuck it into into itself so I'm just going to fold it there and just make marry these two edges up and fold this one here okay and then you're going to tuck that into there now if you want to straighten your edge you do that but i don't mind so rather than gluing inside the pocket which will then render the pocket useless because you've got another you've got one so if you think about pocket numbers you've got one here you've got one here you've got one here you've got one here and then you've got the one behind so if you glued this down you'd lose this pocket and you just you wouldn't you have this pocket but you would have this pocket okay so instead of doing that all i do is i just put a bead of glue across the bottom here just so that it holds it all together and that way then you've kept all the pockets that you can well squeeze out of it and then you can either cut these off at the top which i did on these two okay or you can leave them as they are i will cut it off because 
the reason I like it cut down is when you're pushing things in at the top they just end up getting all dog-eared anyway so poor dog with his dog ears so I'm just going to cut it roughly roughly straight <laughs> it won't be <laughs> so don't don't hope for straight it won't be so I'm just going to cut it straight like that okay, move those out of the way and then remember we've got a pocket here a pocket here a pocket here and a pocket here and then we've got the one at the back so the one at the back I'm just going to put glue either side and across the bottom so this is the top so I'll do this is the bottom and then we're going to pop that on there and you don't want it to be too high again so I tried to have it so that it kind of sat pretty much in line with these here you're going to put it in the middle of that back bit Dave oh except for you might have made the pocket a bit wide have you made the pocket a bit wide you've made the pocket a bit wide so that's not going to happen then Dave right we'll start that again because that pocket is too wide so because I wasn't paying attention so don't don't do like Dave don't do a Dave do a you okay so we, you'll get to see how to make this then <laughs> again you'll be like oh good I'm glad you made a mistake because I really didn't understand that so whichever side you want facing up okay fold it across so you're going to take you have it as a rectangle so ra let's rather than racing through this let's do this so you can understand it so you're going to take this corner and you're going to bring it up not to this corner but next to this corner so you're going to take this corner and you're going to bring it up to here and you can have it kind of sat next to it and then you're going to press that line in yeah then you're going to turn this round so you've got this line now straight line facing towards you and you're going to fold it round now we're not going to make the mistake that we did well we you're going i didn't make the mistake dave you made the mistake okay all right I'm not going to make the mistake that I did last time. <laughs> and you're not going to make the mistake because you listened to me. Because you learnt from my mistake. So I'll fold it in and, and hopefully that's going to be narrower this time. Yep, it is. So I'm going to fold that down. And then we're going to pop that, tuck that in there. And remember, we're going to glue just inside there, and that'll hold it all together. Okay, I'm going to cut that bit off the top. Get rid of that. You know, I've always said I leave all my mistakes in. And I'm going to cut that there. Because I've folded it slightly differently, I've got an edge here, and I've got this. Um, wonky line but like I say I don't care about those if you do you do you so I'm gonna go down this side down this side and across the bottom I'm gonna pop this onto the back so you've got to just make sure that you get it in the center of where your score lines are so there's a score line here and there's a score line here and we want that in the center of those two so that it doesn't get away in the way of the mechanism. This time, I've got it right. There we go. And then, this is where you can then put, well, might as well use some of your offcuts, Dave. I have something in your pocket there. I have another thing. Oh, let's put some inky pinky inky pinky on there okay might just chomp those corners because we can and stick something to it because we can 
you knew that was coming. Um, and if you didn't, where have you been? I'm going to get a bit of bus ticket. Pop that on there. Maybe something else on the back. Just got a few odds and sods here, so... Just like that, maybe just staple it. Now you can staple a gun there. Pop that in there. We can have something else in the back one. Uh, no, not that, Dave. We'll have a big thing in the back. We can have one of these tickets here. Uh, Fold it down a little bit so it doesn't stick up so much. That can go in there. We've got another pocket to play with. I know that's going to be too short. Let's do those three. We can put that in that other pocket that we've got, which is that one there. Got those bits in the pockets. Okay, we've got this. We're going to put something in there. Maybe another type of ticket. We have some more over here. Somewhere. What have we got here? This. Let's put one of these in. Just pop that in there. In fact, actually, I'm just going to fold it to make it a little bit more interesting. Ah, sit down over the top of that and then we'll put something in there oh let's just use all of the ephemera then Dave shall we there's some tickets here we are, what else have we got that we could get to hand something to hand Dave oh, maybe that maybe one of them oh that's a bit low a bit short no let's put that on there Link it down a bit because it's a little bit scarily bright. Just glue it to it. To it. Put that in there. I'll maybe put this one of these. Don't need that. One of these, maybe on a piece of this. Again, just ink it down. I'm not sure that there was any ink coming off that, to be fair. Put that on there. Couple it. And oh, well, that's what I was looking for. Put that around the edge of that. And pop that in there. We can have it, even have it hanging out. There we go. So that is our little quick and easy. Hopefully you thought it was quick and easy. Little pocket thing. And then all I did was I made a little wrap to go around it. And so like. Yo, my name is Dave. Oh, not that kind of rap, no. All right, sorry. <laughs> mm, you know when I say I think I'm funny, and even I didn't think that was funny. Um, <laughs> I usually think I'm funny, but I, I did, on this occasion, actually, no. Let's not use that. Let's use a piece of this off cut I've got here of my file folder. Let's use one of these, Dave. Recycling at its best. So. When you're making the, the, the wrap to go round it, I'm, not, I'm tempted to do wrapping again, but I'm not going to realize that I definitely didn't miss my vocation there. Um, I'm gonna hold it onto here, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it round. So rather than scoring it, I'm gonna wrap it. <laughs> I keep saying wrap now, and I'm feeling like I need to wrap. Um, I'm gonna wrap it round, 
and pinching it as I go around. Because if you try and then score it, it'll be exactly the same size as this. And then that way then you'll find it won't go slide on and off very easily. And then you're going to do the same, same on the other side. You want it to have a little bit of give in it, so not, not too taut. Again, wrap it round on all of those. Doesn't matter if the if your pinch folds aren't in the right place; they can be repinched. Okay, so that's how big we're going to need it. And then all I did to make it a little bit more interesting is folded it back on itself. All he did, if we could get hold of the end, folded it back on itself like that. And then I just inked it, so I made this bit. I made this bit darker, but then I ended up covering up, so I'm not going to worry too much about it this time. Just going to put some ink on that bit, and then just over the rest of it, just to give it a bit of interest. I always struggle with these things. I, I love these inks, but I just struggle with the gazes. Me with a little brain, you know, that, that sort of thing. And this is, like I say, this is file folder, so this is just quite rough, and I'm just going to do down the edges. <laughs> Keep doing that, which I know doesn't actually pick up any ink, Dave. You need to press and smoosh. Right, so this is going to sit round like that it's going to fold back on itself so we'll put the fold on itself in just a bit of glue on there and then we're going to put that around and the, before we glue it down we're going to pop it wrap it around this thing so that way then we're gauging that we're not pulling it too taut and we're going to have problems then put, taking the wrap on and off Put some glue on and get it in the in the right place all you want to do is it to hold it closed you don't want it to be so taut you can't slide the thing on and off and then once i've done once i did that i've just got some of my nice little tickets so these are a mixture of tracy tickets and um tim holtz tickets and i took some some interesting ones i might try and go for something that's that's a bit, looks like it needs to be fussy cutted. It won't be much of a fussy cut if I do it now, but I'll do what I can. So I just want to get this end and do the same on this end. Just cut any of the white bits off. Again, just ink it. Well, I sent the right pain up through my thumb because I did that at a funny angle. Well, I don't think it's that funny, to be fair. Maybe that and that, and maybe something else on there. Maybe that. Yep, yeah, I like that little combination. Combination. So, you know. Oh no, that, I haven't got a pin in it now. So I'm just going to put a line of glue there and then stick that to them. Oh, like that. And then just kind of just peel them back and stick them to each other. And then I'll just ink around those edges. And then just put a bit of glue, actually I put a bit of glue on the back of here, on the back of here, on the front of here. Pop that little grouping together. Obviously don't want it to have it too straight, do we Dave? On like that. And there we go. So we've made a nice little folio. Like I say, you can make it out of file folder, you can make it out of whatever you have. You're bound to, I'm telling you now, you are going to have 12 by 12 paper, 
that you probably won't use it might even be stuff that you're not that keen on you, can, you know if you've got one bit that you really like you're not going to see the most of it so because you're going to cover it up with other stuff so you might as well use it for something and you've made a nice little folio a nice that a lovely little giveaway that you can give to oh i've just realized got white edges can't have that can we um lovely folio that you can give as happy mail or whatever so if you get some happy mail off me and you get one of these you know where it came from so like i say nice little folio that you can make out of whatever you like using up some scraps or some file folders or whatever and there you go so and like i say really quick and simple if you're <laughs> if you're paying attention like n not like i was doing i was gonna say paying attention like like what i was but not like i was um <laughs> then you'll be able to make loads of them very quickly like i say uh these two took me about an hour to do the two together and this one was being prototyped as i was making it so i didn't know how it was going to go so it took me a little bit longer and then uh this was 20 minutes this one i don't know how long we've been recording maybe half an hour now um a bit longer maybe because i'm doing a tutorial who knows so really simple something you can do don't forget try rusting some some staples those bars of staples um if you know the rusting technique do do some rusting um and um it's a great way to you know, add a bit of interest to your staples so there we go that's it i will love you and leave you thank you very much for joining me um don't forget to give this thumbs this thumbs up a like <laughs> please send me some words because i don't have any of my own um well none that makes sense anyway um please send me some words that make sense <laughs> please give this video a, a thumbs up or give it a like <laughs> is what i was trying to say um don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed i am doing a um a 2000 um subscriber draw but obviously if i get more than 2000 subscribers um it just means that everybody's in with a chance so if you want to enter that um i'll link that in the description um and you get if you do want to enter that you'll win this so not these but you'll win this this case with um slides in um and um all of these slides you'll get so loads of them like i say i've been making those um and that'll be yours um and it will have a maker's plate on the back and uh yeah so but if you get any happy mail from me um i'm planning to send out some happy mail um then you might get one of these stuffed with little bits of maybe interesting stuff and maybe a note from me if you're very lucky if you and if you're prepared to see my hideous handwriting um so anyway i'm gonna go shut up dave get on with it all right okay then shut up dave i'm going all right <laughs> thank you very much folks thanks for watching don't forget my name is dash of dave and i love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to so don't give me a reason not to and i'll see you in the next video take care lots of love <laughs> and hugs and bye